Bismillahirrahmanirrahim uh, Today we are going to make a chart for what is gross margin percentage of each product by uh, by storage location or by the location uh, that is California, Nevada and Oregon We are also uh, making our uh, our other type of chart um, as we have already created and the gross margin uh, line chart and also we have uh, created and the numeric uh, numeric point chart number chart it's also called number chart and we have also explored what are the input uh, filter and the what are the input control filter we separately uh, make product uh, product filter and location input control filter and date range filter separately in each video if you uh, if you are uh, if you not explore i should not uh, watch my previous video for this topic uh, go explore this video so you can easily understand uh, what are these uh, chart and what are the input control we can develop so in this video we will develop uh, and this gross margin a product wise gross margin chart which will uh, also show the location uh, location data uh, let's uh, uh, let's create uh, into another canvas we have to click on the plus button and uh, we have to create the canvas page click on the chart button here it is so we have to first select the uh, data source the data source by default is showing is the sample model which we also required for this uh, chart and uh, uh, for the type of chart we have selected the bar column chart and further move on its uh, orientation is horizontal and for the uh, measure we have to select the cross margin percentage and for the dimension we have to select the product and uh, for the color dimension we can select uh, we have to select the location dimension here it is now we have on the on our live left side we have the chart which have the location uh, at its uh, legend location at the legend uh, section and we have the products uh, on our left side and all the uh, values of uh, gross margin is showing uh, accordingly we can also change the theme of the uh, color dimension like this if we click on the arrow button we can change it uh, like this also we can change it another theme so you can select whatever you want uh, a theme you like you can easily select by using this uh, option I select this uh, uh, this theme now finally we can change the uh, title of the chart like gross margin percentage per location now we can change it location wise and also and product wise for actual I change and product wise here it is also for the uh, for the change of uh, the styling of the title we have to go to the styling and then select the option you can change the size of the uh, 
uh, our title and we can also change the font of the title and we also make it the bold also we can change it the color of the title also we always have to uh, should select the dark colors for the titles so it can be view very uh, easily and our chart should be eye catchy here it is now our chart is uh, uh, completed and we should uh, we will uh, move to the creation of our another chart so now we are going to uh, develop a uh, um, average uh, average gross margin chart uh, location wise so let's begin so first of all click on the uh, chart button in the insert menu by default it has the bar column type that's we need and uh, the addition is horizontal that's also we need same so let's select the measure click on the add measure and as we are going to have the average gross uh, gross margin uh, chart so we have to select the gross margin percentage as a uh, as our measure and then for the dimension as we are going to see the location wise average gross margin so select on the uh, in the dimension loops we have to select location in the dimension so for showing the average line we have to go uh, we have to go the option of uh, uh, of our uh, chart click on the dot button uh, three dot which is appearing right here and now go to the add reference line option here it is for the uh, for for uh, there are two types of uh, uh, reference line fixed and dynamic here we have to uh, show the dynamic reference line so first of all we have to select the measure so uh, here we select the gross margin percentage as we want to uh, find the average gross margin percentage uh, line and uh, for the aggregation we have three option maximum average and minimum so if we select maximum it the our our uh, reference line will be show at the uh, at the maximum uh, values location and if we select the minimum the our reference line will uh, will uh, bound and will show the uh, to the uh, to the very with the minimum gross uh, percentage uh, uh, damage in gross position location which is uh, here it is Nevada and uh, for uh, as we required the average uh, uh, average reference line average line across the chart so we have uh, we select average option here it is so it's mean the average uh, gross margin across all location is 24.47 we can also um, make it label or we can also make uh, change its uh, the color of uh, uh, color of the uh, value of uh, average uh, gross margin percentage so click uh, uh, click on the ok button here it is now we have the average uh, average percentage uh, average gross margin percentage line across our chart let's change the label of our chart average cross margin percentage location wise so now we have added another uh, chart successfully which is our average gross margin percentage so now we are going to add another chart in our uh, um, we, in our story uh, which is uh, uh, which is a stacked uh, a stacked wise uh, product showing the uh, performance of uh, the product um, regarding gross margin and 
and we uh, we will also find the values on the dimension of date so let's begin click on the insert chart option here uh, we we should select the we have to select the stack bar column mm, type of chart and then uh, we have to uh, select the uh, orientation as vertical and mm, then we have to select the measure which is gross margin here we are not uh, comparing the uh, percentage on the gross margin percentage uh, we are using the gross margin as a as our measure and uh, we have to select the uh, our date uh, our date dimension as our uh, the main dimension so if we uh, if we select only the dimension and gross margin our chart will show like this but we have to uh, we have to show the product also so we uh, we add the product in our color dimension so go to the uh, option of color and then select product as our uh, color dimension here it is as we know we can also change its theme according to our uh, requirement or according to our favorism I select this so um, I think this uh, combination is looking nice but the main thing the thing which is still uh, our uh, uh, is still required in our chart is the date dimension as we have th the all the uh, we don't have any uh, particular uh, particular interval showing in our chart like uh, the year like the quarter we don't know what are these values based on uh, what dates so for this we have to add the date filter for this chart uh, go to the add filter option and then uh, select the date uh, date members you can also select date range or you can also select date uh, member so if I select date member we'll all have the um, years I select all the three years like this here it is now we have three uh, three uh, three uh, three uh, three, uh, three columns and uh, all the uh, all the years uh, all the uh, years data are uh, separated by uh, fixing the felt filtration uh, by uh, by using the filter option as you know before applying the uh, filter we our data was displaying in a single bar column but after applying filter we have uh, we have the data of uh, of our of gross margin separately uh, by each year like this 2014 the gross margin uh, the gross margin of juices were uh, the 40.02 million and in the 2015 it it was increase it was decreased to uh, 38.91 but in the 2016 the juices gross margin was uh, increased to 58.57 billion million sorry so uh, for this uh, we have uh, successfully created our uh, our uh, our bar column uh, chart which is uh, showing our data very appropriately and, uh, and as you are seeing that the chart is also a very eye catchy so you can also um, use um, use this type of chart in your stories and enjoy the um, that uh, enjoy the stories and st uh, enjoy the uh, creation uh, creation of the charts very uh, very easily um, in the SAP analytics crowd options so uh, in this video we have created three type of chart um, first of all we have created 
the um, bar column chart the product wise and location wise percentage then in the second chart we have created the uh, average gross margin percentage location wise but the main crust of this uh, chart uh, was uh, was the average reference line which uh, which uh, which shows the average gross margin percentage um, across the chart and lastly we have created the stack bar column chart which is showing the um, the product uh, product wise performance and um, the her the each year uh, each year each year products performance so hope you hope you like this video and you learn something from this video if you like or learn something from this video do click on the like button and uh, for the for seeing the more uh, informative video in future to subscribe to my channel uh, let's meet into another new video till then bye bye take care